balanced news and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 9. Three weeks into spring and Mother Nature piles on the snow. This is now the snowiest April on record for Northeast Wisconsin. The morning began with winter storm Evelyn leaving behind snowy roads and residents digging out. Hundreds of events canceled, businesses closed. Normally right now, my doors should be dinging. There's been a lot of dinging. There's been people coming and going, um, but it's been a ghost town. And the high winds and mounting snow left behind plenty of damage. Upgraded to a blizzard this evening, Northeast Wisconsin prepares for round two. Snow, much more snow. The worst of blizzard Evelyn is yet to come. The latest on Blizzard Evelyn tops Fox 11 News at 9. We have team coverage of Blizzard Ele Evelyn tonight. Meteorologist Phil DeCastro is in Sturgeon Bay, while Amber Luckett, she's in Green Bay. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Blizzard Evelyn came in swift and strong. Our fifth named winter storm may be our worst winter storm yet. That's right. From Wapaka County east to Door County, a path of a foot of snow deep has fallen and more is on the way. The snow prompted snow emergencies in many communities, including Appleton and Green Bay. Drivers are advised to stay off the roads. State police and Green Bay police were kept busy with crashes and stranded motorists. Crashes shut down parts of Highway 29 and Interstate 41 at different times throughout the day. And the snow created damage on its own. This carport in an apartment complex in Ashwaubenon collapsed under the heavy snow and high winds today. Several cars were damaged and left trapped in the debris. Elsewhere, snow more than a foot deep toppled this car shed in Abrams and in Oshkosh. High winds knocked over this flagpole outside of Perkins restaurant. We continue to monitor the severe weather from Blizzard Evelyn. Chief Meteorologist Patrick Powell joins us now for a look at what's to come, Patrick. There is a lot more snow to get through. We haven't even gotten through half of it yet. There is a huge band of snow working north through Illinois, and the entire feed is feeding right into central portions of Wisconsin. Bands of heavy snow starting to build back into our area after a lull for much of the day, but we are going to see tonight act much like last night with very heavy snow streaming northward over a warm front as the area of low pressure is back in Iowa. You can see western and southern Wisconsin uh, very, very heavy snow is developing. We will see that in combination with the very strong northeast winds through the overnight hours with gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. That is going to add to low visibilities and blowing snow through the overnight and through most of the day tomorrow. Blizzard warnings in place around the bay. Everyone else is under a winter storm warning, but conditions will be nearly the same. I'm expecting 8 to 12 inches for almost the entire state of Wisconsin. Most of our area in a 12 to 15 inch band, but I think there is an area from Appleton and Oshkosh up through Green Bay towards Sturgeon Bay around that blizzard warning where you could see 15 to 18 inches by the time we get to tomorrow night. That is not total snow. That's in addition to what we already have on the ground now. So there is a lot more snow coming. Severe weather index in the high category. Blizzard Evelyn moving through tonight and tomorrow with heavy snow, blowing snow, and blizzard conditions likely. More on that throughout this newscast. Patrick, thank you. Blizzard Evelyn turned out to be worse than expected. Several high schools hoping to get in prom tonight. They were forced to cancel this morning due to the weather. That created chaos not only for students, but some businesses as well. Fox 11's Amber Luckett joins us live from Green Bay. And Amber, the snow seems to be disrupting the lives of everyone this weekend. Gabrielle, it is. When I talked to business owners earlier today, they tell me in all of the years of living in Wisconsin, Blizzard Evelyn is by far one of the worst in their books. But they're telling me that as conditions continue, as they get better, they're hoping that business will get back to normal as usual. While Blizzard Evelyn continues to dump several inches of snow on northeast Wisconsin, some people are looking on the brighter side and trying to make the best out of these conditions. Well, I had to change all my plans, so I decided to put the prom dress I was going to wear today for my 40th on a snowman. But finding the silver lining hasn't been the easiest for everyone, especially for Green Bay students at East, Southwest, and Preble High Schools. Their prom was put on hold Saturday morning. I have a couple of friends that have children that are missing out on their prom this evening and they're kind of disappointed the finances and corsages and things like that. Students aren't the only ones taking a loss. 
The winter storm is affecting businesses like tuxedo rental shops and florists in the area. I came in this morning. I did have uh, about 50 calls within a half hour, so our phone lines were lighting up. Uh, and basically it was just concerned parents that uh, they had tuxedos, they were going to lose money. My door should be dinging, there should be a lot of dinging, there should be people coming and going, um, but it's been a ghost town. Douglas Schmidt says he's been working in the flower business for more than 20 years and has never heard of a prom being canceled. Never, ever happened. I've been doing a lot of running around this morning, battling with Mother Nature, snow plows and people, it's just crazy. In the 15 years that I've been here, I have not seen proms being canceled on weather. I don't think I've seen a snowstorm like this uh, this far into April, so, but it is Wisconsin. Now the Green Bay School District does plan to reschedule those proms. They tell us that they will have more information on those dates next week. Now Amber, before you go, I just wanted to know, um, you've been out in the snow all day, so how are the conditions right now compared to earlier in the day? Well, the drive over here was actually a lot better than it was earlier today, but as you can see, we have a sleet snow mix going on right now, so as you can imagine, the roads are only going to get worse. All right, Amber, thank you very much. We'll check back in with you a little later in the show. While the storm dumped record amounts of snowfall, it also brought with it strong winds. We have some photos that were sent to us. This one by Jolene in Oshkosh. As you can see, the winds were strong enough in that area to bring down a number of trees. We're also keeping an eye on power outages across the state. At this time, Wisconsin Public Service is reporting over 1,800 outages across its service area. The largest outage right now is in Chilton, where over 500 customers are without power this evening. Chief Meteorologist Patrick Powell joins us once again. And Patrick, in addition to the snow, the winds also turning out to be uh, very dangerous in the storm. And they will be throughout the overnight and during the day tomorrow because the storm keeps strengthening. Sheboygan, wind gusts already to 52 miles per hour. Green Bay at 48, Appleton 46, Oshkosh and Wapaka at 45. I think we will see strong winds continue during the overnight. Very latest wind gusts are mainly in the upper 30s for much of our area. As we move through the overnight and that storm starts to get a little closer, we are going to see the winds increase, especially as we head towards early tomorrow morning. Winds could gust into the 50 mile per hour range at that time. And then through the day tomorrow, we're going to see those winds gusting in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range for just about the entire area until we get into tomorrow evening. We'll also see sustained winds throughout the day out of the northeast in the 25 to 35 mile per hour range. That's all day tomorrow starts to finally drop off tomorrow evening. Now Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro has been out in the Fox 11 storm chaser today in Door County. Phil, how are things there? Pat Patrick, the winds in Door County and in Sturgeon Bay have been howling all throughout the day. Uh, and uh, th right now, the winds uh, are, uh, at the moment, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. We're kind of in a lull at the moment, as you see here. This is the anemometer right on top of the truck. But we have been seeing gusts not infrequently up over 30 miles per hour. So we're uh, in a little bit of a lull right now, as I mentioned, wind-wise. But that wind today, it's not just been whipping around the snow and into drifts. It's also been whipping up the wind waves in the area uh, around the bay as well as on the lake. Uh, now, even though most of the roads have been plowed, that wind also uh, pushing that snow, drifting that snow right back onto the road. So we've had to deal with drifts at least a foot, a foot and a half deep at times uh, on some of those roads. The blowing snow has also cut into visibility, and it's even been an issue for cars getting stuck in the city streets of Sturgeon Bay. Well, yeah, we kind of tried to park and ended up sliding into the into the mess there. <laughs> yeah, I knew instantly we were stuck. It was just like it was. There's no way this van is going back or forth here. So nothing like it in April, right? How does that make you feel that it's April and you're seeing? The uh, I home? wish I was down in the Caribbean having a rum punch on the beach right now. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> And just to show you what I mean about those drifts, I mean, it really doesn't look too bad. And then all of a sudden you drop down into two feet of snow here. So <laughs> these drifts really are all over the place, all over the county. So just take care if you are out on the roads. Now, it's not all bad. There are some people that are actually enjoying this. And I'll have more on a man that I caught up with earlier today uh, and just uh, a little bit later in this newscast. For now, live in Sturgeon Bay, meteorologist Phil DeCastro, back to you.
All right, thanks, Phil. Don't forget, you can keep track of the Blizzard Evelyn on the Fox 11 Weather app. It's free to download in your app store. And we'll continue to monitor Blizzard Evelyn throughout this newscast. Still to come at 9, Chief Meteorologist Patrick Powell will break down the storm and tell us what's next for the storm. We'll also have a live look at road conditions in the area. Plus, Fox 11's Lauren Khalil is in Appleton taking a look at conditions in the Fox Valley. And we'll look at photos and videos sent to us through our social media app first. Happening now with Blizzard Evelyn. Let's take a live look at road conditions across the state. A majority of the roads in northeast Wisconsin pretty much don't want to be on them. The, those in black, yeah, treacherous. Travel again. There's really no point in being out on the roads tonight. Those in red, ice covered. Those in blue, snow covered. And those in purple, slippery stretches. Chief Meteorologist Patrick Powell joins us now for a look at what's happening in the area. Patrick, what is happening <laughs> with these roads? Nobody wants to go out in these roads. I mean, I mean, I don't. No, but it's, I'm going to have to get home. So it is tough. On? It is tough, Gabrielle. You know, like, here's a look at our field house camera, and this is this is from this afternoon. And you can see snow falling at times. The heaviest of the snow was during the overnight hours, and it, it was lighter this afternoon and did give crews a chance to catch up a little bit. But now waves of heavy snow are coming back again, initially mixing with a little bit of ice, a little bit of sleet. So that is going to lead to some slippery roads around the area. And you can see in our Oshkosh camera, traffic moving by at times through the evening hours, but conditions are about to deteriorate and they'll probably drop pretty quickly through the overnight hours. Manitowoc time lapse shows that uh, the rivers are running high around the area. We have had those lakeshore flood warnings for uh, the northern sections of the area and Sturgeon Bay time lapse again shows the water in the shipping channel is, is fairly high and we have seen some uh, snow just blowing past the camera even during the evening hours. Now the Fox 11 storm chaser has been out throughout the day tracking Blizzard Evelyn in different parts of the area and Phil very near our Sturgeon Bay weather camera right now, which we just finished with. Phil, how does it look where you are? Uh, well, Patrick, right now I am in, in Sturgeon Bay, right next to the Maritime Museum. I can see our camera from here. It is still a very, very cold, snowy and windy. You can probably hear that wind uh, getting picked up on our microphones. And I know a lot of people are not a fan of Windstorm Evelyn because it's April, but you know, it's really not all bad. It's all about how you frame the storm mentally. We were actually driving around uh, through Pottawatomie State Park earlier today, uh, just uh, near uh, Sturgeon Bay, where they plowed one trail through parts of the park. Now, I don't recommend doing this, but because the snow was so heavy and wet, you could see the trees hanging on uh, the, uh, uh, the, I'm sorry, the snow hanging on the trees and the branches. It really was beautiful once you were in the woods sheltered from the wind, but in the most exposed areas, the drifts had started coming up over the plowed road. One man, though, he really didn't mind all the snow. Yeah, I had to help someone that they didn't see the drift and it was, he couldn't even hardly get his door open. He was in so far, really? so I had to yank him out. So that's the only reason why we're out driving around, really. So <laughs> just to try to look for people, help them out. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Obviously, we don't recommend anyone being out on the roads tonight, and especially if you are going to be on the road, sleep. make sure your headlights are on. Someone just drove past without their headlights on if you do have to be out and about. But really, just try to stay home, hunker down. It's not actually snowing too bad in Sturgeon Bay right now, but in many areas, it is going to be snowing very heavily with these strong winds all night long. So just make sure you're being careful as Blizzard Evelyn continues to move its way on through. Uh, live in Sturgeon Bay, we Fox 11 meteorologist Phil DeCastro. Back to you. All right, thank you, Phil. As you mentioned, Winter Storm Evelyn is doing more than just causing headaches. It's also creating a little bit of fun time for some people out there, as well as some animals in the area. This video was sent to us by Jen in Shawano. As you can see, her pony enjoyed trotting around in the snow this morning, having a good time out there. Probably wondering what in the world is all this snow doing out here? Isn't it April? This is craziness, right? That or just being like, look at all this lovely, somebody's got to <laughs> love it, so maybe the, the little pony was loving it, I don't know. It's probably looking for <laughs> its food. It was laying there on the ground a minute ago, and now it's all covered up. <laughs>